Bible, it tells you where Satan lives. In the Bible, it tells you the book of Revelation. It tells you, Revelation 9, 11, okay, that Satan dwelleth by the former temple of Apollo. Satan dwells where the former temple of Apollo is. Who knows that? Revelation 9, 11. Okay, also it tells you that Satan dwells where Antipas was martyred. And Geneva is the location of that, and that is the location of the World Economic Forum, and that is the location of the World Health Organization, and that is the location of the United Nations, and that is the location of CERN, and CERN's logo is 666. Are we all on the same page here? Okay, the Google Chrome logo is... 666, Bill Gates has a patent for a cryptocurrency, W0202006006. So whether you want it to happen or not, it is getting biblical. And uh, General Flynn and I find ourselves in this uncomfortable situation where we just seek the truth. Next thing you know, we're talking about the mark of the beast. So General Flynn, I mean, the people here are going, uh-oh. Uh, I'd love to get your thoughts just as a three-star general, not well, a theologian. Yeah, so number one, it's for real. It is for real when they talk about, because actually MIT up in Massachusetts, Massachusetts Institute of Technology is actually developing some of this capability. And what do they call it up there? They call it the quantum they, dot. Quantum dot, okay? And they're already doing some testing and you see some, there's actually some news footage that we have where it shows people inside of a shopping center where they wave their hand because it's already being tested. So. You know, I'm not against technology and I'm not against innovation. I'm not against moving forward. What I am against is anybody that starts to control our lives in a vastly different way. I really am against that. And, I, and so how do we maneuver in this space, in this territory that we are in? That's going to be the difficult question. And again, as I have said, don't, you know, don't think that you're going to find all the solutions out of this stage. You're going to have to go do some critical thinking and some critical research and really start to understand what is happening. And frankly, a lot of this stuff is just gonna be come, coming down and dumped on our laps or on our heads. And we're gonna to be told you're gonna to have to accept it and that's it. And we're gonna look back and go, what, what happened? What happened? And it's already beginning. And like I said, never forget what I said here about this global alliance. We've gone through this over the last 100 years, World War I, World War II and certainly during the, uh, the era of the Cold War where there was an alliance formed against the U.S. We are in that new era in this new century. Now I want to pull up three resources for you. Uh, Devin, you can pull up GeneralFlynn.com. General Flynn has authored two recent books about fifth generation warfare, and they really are a powerful way to understand what's going on. And I encourage you guys to pick those up because it walks you through what is happening. Because we're used to wars with bullets and guns and tanks. This is a different kind of warfare. Who knows about fifth generation warfare? This is a real thing. So I encourage you to pick up a copy of that. The second thing is Andrew Sorcini, if you go to Beverly Hills Precious Metals or bh-pm.com, he has a button that's the history of inflation. And I just want to show this to you, because this seems unbelievable to some people. But if we scroll down, let's go to recent history here. Scroll down here, all the way down. Up, 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 here we go. Venezuela, the inflation rate was 41% in 2013. How many of you believe the cost of eggs has gone up at least 41% since Biden took over? Do you know their inflation rate hit 65,000%? Another example would be Zimbabwe. 2008, their highest inflation rate hit 796 Billion, billion percent. That means the price is doubled every 24.7 hours. Um, another example is Yugoslavia, 313 million percent inflation rate in 1994. So call to action, if, Andrew, if people want to get a hold of you, just schedule a consultation, figure out what the heck is going on. How do they do that? Go to bh-pm.com and fill out that form that's right on the homepage. Put in your first name, last name, email address, phone number, and just a couple sentences about what it is that you'd like to know more about. Typically, people are saying, um, I, I want to turn my 401k or my IRA into one that holds physical precious metals and have it not be a taxable event. That's the most common one right now. You can do that for minimal fees. And final thing, it's General Flynn, I want to get your thoughts on this. You put out you wrote three books in the last year and a half, and they're all very, very practical. Uh, sir, why do you believe everyone should pick up a copy of that, just so people know kind of what they're buying there, sir? Well, number one, we titled it The Citizen's Guide. So myself and Sergeant Boone Cutler, we have a certain language that we speak. And one of the things that The Citizen's Guide to Fifth Generation Warfare, or Session 2, How to Fight AI, what it does is it basically gives us a common language to operate from as citizens in this country, in this era of fifth generation warfare, and, and definitely as we move into this even increasing era of artificial intelligence, which is dominating 
our lives and will continue to dominate our lives. So we felt compelled with our training in information operations, psychological operations, intelligence operations, to put something together for citizens because we could see this happening to our own country. Okay, and it's happening from inside and it's happening from outside. So it's sp specifically titled The Citizen's Guide because it's in our language, okay? Very simple. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's hear for, for America's General, General Flynn and Andrew Sorcini of bh-pm.com. Thank you, sir.